Hello everyone, it's Audrey here. Today I'm going to show you how I edit my photos in Lightroom. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that I do is I import all of my photos that I want to edit um, and it's simple, just dragging them in. Um, so after I do that, I will go to develop and I have downloaded these really great presets from uh, Visco Film. I like them a lot. Um, and I just choose the one that I like and it's great. I love using these presets because they make them look very filmy and stuff. And See this one's very vibrant here but then I'll maybe change some things like you know the grain. I like to change the grain a lot because if there's too much grain it's kind of distracting so I usually just put it down to a zero. But um, onto my next one, uh, I might choose a different one. I really like this one here. I'm going to put that green down. And I might change the exposure a little. Or maybe the warmth, or the tint, something like that. I like it how that looks. But um, right here, there's like this really weird. Uh, distracting can so I'm just going to crop that out and it's really simple all I'm gonna do is just go like that and there we go all right next one this is just simple I might use that or maybe a different one I really like all of these black and white presets as well they're just titled different film um, but yes I really like these I just use them so that's what I'm going to do here um, and if you'd like to download these VSCO film presets or Visco, Visco, whatever you say, um, I have a link in the description if you'd like to see them. And then this is a picture of myself. Usually with myself, I'll just kind of do something that's a little brighter or something that will make me pop. I like the portrait. It's kind of cold. So when the, with these ones where I like how it looks, but it looks kind of cold, I will bring the temperature up a little bit to make it look a little bit more warm. And that's just what I do to all of these. I kind of play around with the basic settings and the presets and sometimes I'll go down to the curves or maybe these, this is really cool. Um, I'm gonna choose something that's really cold. So I'm just going to kind of like drag it along here. And then it makes kind of a gradient across the photo of cold, but I don't really wanna do that so I'm gonna press Control Z and yeah it's pretty nice i like it sometimes as well i will make kind of a a vignette um and i will go to exposure on this little mask here and bring down the exposure a little bit and then i will make my brush bigger and i'll just kind of like paint over the edges see this is really really dark um so i might want to change that a little and after i do this um I can change the exposure, make it a little brighter or something. Uh, maybe make my brush a little smaller. And yeah. So that's just what I'm going to do to all of these. Uh, and you can just see a kind of a little speed edit. So after I'm done editing, I'll go back to library, and I will select all of these by c by clicking command click, so I'll just do that really fast. And then I will say export, 
and then I'll go to my desktop, I'll make my folder my desktop, and I will put in my subfolder, um, I'll just name this photo shoot one. There we go. Simple as that. Then just press export, and right up in the corner there will be this progress bar right here. Almost done. Yeah, it's done. Okay. It's done, so that's all you gotta do, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, yeah, okay. Bye.